Hello. Take 52. We're looking at cards for April 15th and 16th, and they are all in the reverse, and they are the Ace of Coins, the Devil, and the Nine of Swords, all in the reverse. The chains fall away. Bondage is a theme today, as in breaking free from. The Devil is in the reverse, and we have overcome whatever or whoever has been holding us back in any way. The Nine of Swords in the upcoming position, the card of Sleepless Nights, in the reverse says we're not losing sleep over anything, especially money. What's your addiction? The devil, a Capricorn, may as well leave the room. Fear, greed, and bad breath, and I always forget to mention temptation, which is why he, or she devil, is associated with addictions. We're a very addicted society. The word is even used in the positive sense to sell us whatever is being sold. It's addicting. Netflix series, I'm addicted. Cheese nips, they're addicting. Addicted to love, great song, Robert Palmer. Rest in peace. In the reverse, and it's not easy to wrestle the devil. We win. Chasing a dollar. In the past, we have the glorious ace of coins or money. As it may as well be called in this spread, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, and while this giant shiny gold coin could represent bankruptcy, in the reverse, alongside our dark lord in the center, more likely it means fear of it. The reversed ace in this position can be telling quite a story. The ace of coins or pentacles is a very powerful card. The card of golden opportunity. We may have missed an opportunity or opportunities that may have proved lucrative in the long run by being greedy, by making the wrong investments. This could be addiction to money itself, to the exclusion and the detriment of everything else, love, sex, and health. Whew! There is so much that can be said about how we bring about the things we fear the most. How can we not? We give them so much energy, and energy is power, no matter what form it takes. In the upright, the suffering insomniac of the Nine of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, if I were to judge by the pre-sunrise twilight color of the sky outside his or her bedroom window on the olden card, hasn't slept all night. Worry, guilt, regret, fears, and insecurities. Ooh, the devil is having a good time with you. Not a very constructive use of your mental capabilities, and ultimately, your physical body suffers. It's not worth it. I did pass my final exam on the third try. I can't even pass a written driver's test. It's sad. On the fundamentals of Chinese medicine, and oh boy, does anxiety screw with your liver. Considering the rise in fatty liver disease in people who don't even drink, this makes sense to me. I may not take tests well, but I understand things. I was saved from surgery, from acupuncture, many years ago, so I'm all about it. Finally, we may be understanding that we need to take more responsibility for our own health, Focusing more on prevention than cure, for entertainment purposes only, of course, because why should we take our health seriously? You could be sleeping better as a result of giving up addictions that interfere with the natural rhythm or balance of healthy body functions. You may have actually filed bankruptcy or even settled an expensive divorce and no longer have to lay awake at night worrying about it. Or, how do you sleep at night? Whatever it is the devil is selling today, we're not buying it.